Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal? Human speech generation in Adobe Audition. Adobe Audition's got a pretty cool new feature to generate speech. So you go from text to a, a, a sound file that you can use. And the quality of that is dependent upon your operating uh, system text to speech engine. Um, I'm using Windows 10 um, on this main system and I'm using OS 10 over here on this system and I'll show you uh, both of them. Uh, the Windows version, I actually I had to go out and download extra voices, but they're free. Um, if you just do it in the region session, I'll show you where it is. So where would you use this? Well, most of the times, if you're in a high-end professional environment, maybe you just need a placeholder. You need a voiceover, you just paste it in, generate the file, and drop it in. And of course, you could chop that up and, and change it, and there's also speed variances inside. Let's go have a look. So in Windows 10, in the time and language region, you can see all of these languages I added. To add a language, you just click in here, pick the language, and all of these are free, and they download, and you're ready to go. OS 10 has um, way more languages already built in. I find them the, the default ones that are installed are a little bit crude, but they can still get the job done. So let's have a look at where this is. Now, the first thing I want to show you is that when you don't have anything open, and you choose generate speech, it's an effect like adding a compressor or reverb. So my tip to you is to always create a new file and then generate the speech. So it's in the effects, generate speech, and it will do it over top of whatever you already have. So it makes much more sense to go to the file menu, new audio file. And from here, you get to pick the file name, the um, sample rate, and in a video world, most people are working in 48K, uh, but you can go all the way up to 192. Now, whether you want a stereo mono 5.1 or a custom file, and you can set whatever channels you want inside here. And whether it is 8, 16, 24, or 32-bit float. Uh, 24 is usually fine for everybody. You don't really have to go to 32-bit unless you're doing something uh, extra special with effects, but I'm just going to leave it on the default. 48 stereo, 32-bit float is going to go into Premiere Pro like butter. So click OK. And what you're looking at at the top and the bottom is this preview view. So if you're wondering why you get two views, right now, remember, we just created a brand new audio file that has nothing in it. So now let's go to the effects, generate, speech. And I'm going to go to my default here on Windows, which is uh, Microsoft David Desktop, and play this back. Hello, my name is Microsoft David Desktop. My voice was created by Microsoft. I am from United States and I speak English. And we'll change, we'll check out Zira Desktop, and that changes the text. So all of these presets, you can save the text and the voice. Hello, my name is Microsoft Zira Desktop. My voice was created by Microsoft. I think this one sounds better. You can also change the overall rate, so we can speed that up. This is now four words per minute. Hello, my name is Microsoft Zero Desktop. And we can also slow that down. Hello, my name is Microsoft Zero. And we can change the overall volume. By default, it's set at 100%, but we could quiet that down. Hello, my name is Microsoft. I think it's a better idea to always keep that at 100. There's no clipping going on down here. So again, getting back to the preview, the top is our original file, the bottom is the newly generated file. If you don't have this turned on, the preview editor, you'll just see something blank. So I like to keep that on, and it probably comes on for default for you. And in the settings menu, it's going to open up our speech preferences here on Windows and on the Mac it's going to open up system preferences where you get to pick all the different speeches there. Now you can also change any of this text. You can type in this is way cool and listen to that. Hello. This is way cool. 
Yeah, of course it is. And I saved a few others in here and I, I had a little bit of fun. I, uh, obviously Audition doesn't translate this, so I used Google Translate and I copied and pasted in the text and uh, let's try the French version out. Bonjour, mon nom est Microsoft Hortense Desktop. Ma voix a été créée par Microsoft. Je suis de la France et je parle français. All right, let's go try the German version. Hallo, mein Name ist Microsoft Header Desktop. Meine Stimme wurde von Microsoft erstellt. Ich bin aus Deutschland und ich spreche Deutsch. And then I thought I'd really push it. And let's do Japanese. Konnichiwa. Alright, so when you click OK, it's generated that file. You can see it over here on the left hand side, and I already generated the French, German, and Japanese ones in there. Now, let me just show you on the Mac. So we can start with a, a new file, file new, audio file. And again, the same thing applies. Then go to the effects, generate speech. And you can see, if I click on the languages here, um, the Mac ships, OS 10 ships with a ton of different languages. Um, and let me just play this. Most people recognize me by my voice. And when we click OK, it's going to generate that file. Most people recognize me by my voice. So, again, it's dependent upon what you have in your operating system. But remember, once we have an audio file in, in Adobe Audition, we've got effects. So, hmm, let's try this one. This is an announcement of uh, telling me that I'm missing my flight. So, if I wanted to make this sound like, oh, I don't know, like I was at an airport and somebody was over the loudspeaker and they're speaking Japanese and they're telling me I'm going to miss my flight, let's go into our effects rack and let's choose a faraway source. It's warning me that there's a lot of uh, computing going on in this reverb, but I'm going to click OK so I got a fast enough computer. Now I'll hit play. Now think about that. I started with nothing. I got some English text, I used Google Translate, and I dropped the translation into uh, Adobe Audition, uh, used a different language, and in this case Japanese, generated a file, dropped in some effects, and I've got a cool, simple, free effect built right in. Awesome. Uh, well, thanks very much, everyone, for all of your wonderful support here at Video Revealed. We're really having fun. We hope you're having fun, too. If you're new to Video Revealed, hey, take a moment and subscribe. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then there's a link down there in the description to get your free 30-day trial. Well, till next time, I got to go catch my flight, and I'm Colin Smith, and hopefully uh, you're going to look better. あなたの日本人へ TJSA 出ました。あなた WA 自動20BUD